everyone let's talk about personal representatives today I'm gonna try and do a series of videos because I could talk about personal representative for three days and not be done but today we're gonna focus a little bit on who a personal representative is who applies how do they apply when do they get appointed and then the priority and then be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch other the other videos or to learn more about the probate process so the personal representative is usually a person appointed by the court um, to have the authority to act on behalf of the deceased person because we need someone to have that. Just because a person passes doesn't mean that their spouse or their kids automatically step in and can collect bank accounts or sell property, right? Someone needs to be officially appointed by the courts and whomever you're dealing with, a realtor or someone trying to buy a car or going to the bank, they're going to tell you, you need to file for probate if you do need to do that, like if there is no beneficiary or something, and um, then someone gets appointed. So we're gonna look today at the Oklahoma statutes, because remember I'm in Oklahoma, this is just for Oklahoma, and we're gonna see who has priority to apply to service personal representative. But also it's worth mentioning that if the family agrees to this person, if everyone, the spouse, the kids, and so on, agree to this person to serve, we can go off this priority list by having everyone sign uh, a consent. Also, I'm going to address in this video, and we'll talk about that later in other videos as well, is the personal representative the same person as an executor? Usually, yes. Usually in a will, people use the term executor. I appoint my son as the executor. I have seen many wills that say I appoint my son as the personal representative. So it really is the same. I would think based on my experience, when you look at a probate document at, a, at pleadings and it says executor, usually it makes me think that there is a will. But again, they people use them both when there is no will or when there is a will, personal representative would work just fine. Is the person who is authorized by the court to act on behalf of the deceased person, sell property, collect accounts, pay debts, and then at the very end of the probate, distribute the assets of the deceased person. So I'm going to share my screen with you so we can look at the Oklahoma statutes that talks about who has a priority to serve as personal representative. Let's use a family situation. Let's say grandpa dies and there are 15 people, five people, three people interested in serving as personal representative for whatever reason, because I know better, because I live closer, because I work with an attorney or whatever. How does the law look at it? Who gets to serve? And this is Oklahoma statute uh, title 58. And we're looking at section 122, persons entitled to serve as personal representative, entitled to letters of administration. And, and it says the administration of the estate of a person dying in test state must be granted to one or more people and then follow this order. It's worth mentioning that in test state means there is no will. Remember we talked about when there is a will, you can nominate, I appoint this person as my personal representative or my executor. Those people usually have priority. That's called the person died testate, but this isn't testate. The person died, there, there is no will, nothing, nobody appointed. So then we look at the statute to see who has priority when we have 15 people trying to serve. And we have one, the surviving spouse. So if that person is married, the spouse has priority. It doesn't matter what their kids say doesn't matter if they have kids from another marriage or joint kids, the spouse always has priority according to this statute. Then the kids, let's say there is no spouse or if the spouse does not want to serve, then we have the parents. If we have a younger person um, and they don't have a spouse or kids, the parents have priority. Siblings, grandchildren, the next of kin, creditors sometimes can file for for probate, that's for another video, or any person legally competent. Let's say the entire family, either there's a very small family and nobody is interested or to serve, or we cannot find them. Sometimes just an unrelated, like a neighbor or preacher, I've had all kinds of people come to me trying to serve as personal representative um, because none of these people on the list are available. I hope this video helped. Like I said, I 
can talk about personal representatives for three days. So I'm going to try and have little videos. I don't want to bore you too much, but that's kind of how that works to begin with. If someone you know passed away and you're wondering, oh, I wonder who's going to step up, who's going to serve, who has priority. If me and my brother, we both want to serve, how does that work? And we'll do a video on that too, because that happens a lot. People fight over it. They are maybe on the same level. They are both siblings. Um, who's going to serve if they both want to serve. We'll talk about that in a future video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch our other educational videos. There's lots of good information there. Thank you for watching.